Welcome back to For Your Child's Health. Our guests today are Dr. Bert Lubin, and joining us now is Dr. Julie Saba. She's a doctor turned research scientist trying to find a cure for cancer. Welcome, Dr. Saba. Thank you. The quest for a cure, I mean, it's certainly no small deal. What got you on that journey? Uh, well, I began as a pediatric oncologist taking care of children with cancer, and I was very enthused about it because uh, we do have a pretty good uh, cure rate for many children with leukemia and other cancers now. Um, but some of the children didn't survive uh, treatments that were available 10 years ago when I began uh, doing my research. And I realized that we really need to understand more about the genes that are involved in causing each child's cancer until we can figure out the genetic defects of every child with cancer, we're not going to be able to cure them all. Well, it makes sense. When we are treating them at the point at which they are actually struggling and suffering with this disease, why not stop it before it ever gets to that point? Are, are you close? Um, well, I think it's, <laughs> it's a very formidable task to try and cure cancer because there are many different types, they affect many different organs, and each one is quite distinct, and that's really the problem that we face is that every child who comes in the door with cancer has a slightly different type because the mutations that that child has in his cancer is different from, from another child. So, so there's a huge group of people who are working on this problem. Now, Dr. Lubin is looking at you with great pride. I, I don't want to put you under the microscope, uh -huh. but we have pictures of you mm -hmm. with uh, actress Juliette Binoche, who was here some time ago to film uh, the movie B Season. There you are. Um, tell me a little bit about what, what happened. You coached her for the part, and uh, apparently she was quite taken by your work. Uh, yes, I mean, the work, I have to say, my work is fascinating, and we're very interested in um, bringing uh, people to, into the lab to understand it, and Juliet was portraying uh, a, a scientist in her movie, The Bee Season, and she spent the day with us uh, looking at DNA, looking at uh, bone marrow cells under the microscope, which she said looked like a kaleidoscope, and uh, learning about why we do what we do and the tools that we use to uh, accomplish our work. Now, we're going to actually show folks some of those cells uh, in a few minutes here. But Dr. Lubin, you obviously are very proud of the work that's being done uh, by people like Dr. Saba. Um, to have an actress like that bring attention to it, apparently she was so taken by the work that uh, you know she was out there uh, at, the, not, not at the forefront. But maybe you can tell me a little bit about what the actress did for you. Well, I think that it's Julie that did it and the actress came because of Julie. Uh, and we have other people like Julie that work at Corey as well. And I'm just so grateful to have such a wonderful team of people that make uh, the orchestra that we all are participate in just outstanding. And uh, she apparently did some fundraising for you. Yes, she well. did. She came in uh, and was absolutely lovely and everyone enjoyed her for, for an evening. And I imagine uh, your people in the lab are razzing you about uh, being Hollywood. Um, let's <laughs> jump to some of those extreme close-ups now of uh, different types of photos. These are our cells here. Let, walk us through this. What are we looking at? Uh, so this is a, a fluorescent picture of intestines and the reason that we're looking at this picture is because we're studying uh, the the signaling pathways in cells that regulate colon cancer development. We're interested in many different cancers in the lab, including leukemias and brain tumors, but colon cancers as well. And uh, this is just the location where some of those tumors begin. Okay, and colon cancer usually is something that we associate with someone of age. Yes, but you mentioned something about preventing cancer, and uh, one of the themes in our laboratory is trying to understand um, the way that uh, we can alter the diet early on to prevent cancer, and that is something that does have an impact on children. Okay, and we're looking at some other pictures here. These red, what, what's that uh, up there? These are colon cancer cells, and the red is the nucleus of the cell, and the green is the cytoplasm that surrounds it. Okay, I know we're at the risk of being very scientific here, but that is what you do. Your research is you've actually isolated an enzyme that uh, actually causes the cancer cell to maybe commit suicide? Yes, we're, we're studying pathways that cells use to control their growth. And these pathways are affected in cancer. Unfortunately, cancer cells turn off 
the, the pathways that prevent them from growing and turn on pathways that, ex that motivate growth. And so we need to be able to correct these defects and get control of the cells again so that they, they stop growing and in fact commit suicide. Uh, in response to our therapy. Which is really brilliant when you think about it, so you use the cancer cell against itself. That's You're right. You're trying to outfox the cancer cell? Yes, we have to know how a cancer cell thinks and then we can outwit it. Okay.